Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play at the bottom right corner of the map where this time, this time I have started a timer. Uh, so we're not going to get another episode 32 then 32.5 or well, I guess it'd be 33 and 33.5. Uh, we're going to get a you know, good, good normal length episode. Which I think they both worked out about the right length anyway. You know, we've been magically realizing, wait a minute, I've been recording for a long while now. <laughs> Okay, lots of people accepting. It's just going to take me at least back up over 4k. I was happy at that. Yes. Actually, I'm slightly disappointed now because one of the guys like 250 gold. I sort of expected more from that. My wife is pregnant. She's doing a good job, to be honest. But let's... You guys are all marching to where I need you. Yes, good. Technically, we're at war with the guy down here, and this is where the rebels are. Um, if I was to raise up my personal troops, how many's that? Enough to take him on. <laughs> uh, maybe raise up the local guys as reinforcements. I mean, it is in this area which is rebelling. So Sri Lankan troops, probably enough again to deal with it. Raise my local local levies. Yeah, this is still sort of my ducal levy territory. Yeah, I'm happy with 4,000 to deal with this, which I consider my personal troops because all the ones on Sri Lanka and all the ones on this first little duchy here, yo, my 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 personal domain. You know, this this kingdom, of course, is all part of my personal domain. But uh, who's who's boost? Bost. Marquez. Bost. So, count effectively, but you're independent. That's gonna last long. How are we doing compared to some of the, some of these other big guys in troops? Twelve thousand, and I can raise up eleven. How about with the Byzantiums? With a big ginger beard, you look very Greek. <laughs> uh, Twenty-eight thousand. Orthodox Greek. Right, your father was Orthodox Greek. Your mother. It was a heresy in Croatian. Don't quite know where the big ginger beard came from. But it's fine. That's apparently a Greek thing now, big ginger beards. I was thinking that maybe somebody from around here you know, had slipped into the bloodline and that's why it became part of the territory, but I have no proof. Not that that's ever stopped me before. Mwah! <laughs> Okay, 4,000 troops have joined up. We've got decent commanders. Go and kill them before they can get that siege. He's running away. We caught him. Lovely. Rebellion not crushed. Split in half. One of you go up there. Peasants revolt. Two peasants revolt. Revolts, even. One's up there. I might... I'm losing money because I've raised up my personal troops. Is he dead yet? I think so. I can stand you guys down. I'm happy. Happy that that one's dealt with. Uh, peasants revolt. Yes, it's fine. Been won. Now, if you guys want to stay split up, but come into this type of territory. Oh, yeah, please, stay on ill. 4,000 is not going to be enough to quick siege, is it? No. I have yet another son. I think this is what led us into problems last time. Okay, good, good, good. Already sieging. It's you. 
16%. I think we should be entitled to more than 16%. Your capital sieged up. Okay, we're going to go north then and siege up more of his territory. I shall strive to improve. Lose monthly prestige, I don't care. I don't want to lose karma. Yeah, I'll strive to improve. What's my current ambition? Improve intrigue. No, cancel that ambition. Learn to reject pride. Because I think that's what that mission, that thing just gave me the chance of doing. And I want karma so I can form the empire. You've arrived. Screw it. We're going to quick siege this. We've got a fair number of archers in this setup. Um, except their marriage. I'm happy. They married for love, and I'm, I'm going to accept it. How are we looking? 30%. Come on, this should be more than a 30% victory. Yes, accept. What? Why are you not under me? Oh, that was dumb of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. 21 gold. I'm losing every month. How much am I paying on Mercs? 26. See, I read more than 26 here with these guys' costs. How are we looking on factions at the moment? None of them are more than 20% of my power. But that's with having these troops raised. Still hasn't quite gone through. Let's see if we can't bribe these guys into voting my way. Fifty gold, that's bloody expensive. Actually, how many I think they all had the same votes when we looked at this, didn't they? Yeah, basically the majority of them all have the same votes. So let's sort by rank. And get the lower guys. Ah, screw it. Let's it's going to be a case of finding the ones who are close enough to sway, I think. I mean, 47, we only need maybe five votes, two, maybe three people. Good, that means we've got the crown law through. That means I can change you to... Just a curiosity yet, can I... Can I start destroying you? Kingdom of Arissa... Succession law is still Galvakin, no, so I can't. But Arissa, ultimate janitor... Is at peace? No vassals with a bad opinion of you. Is that my Arisen vassals? Or all, all vassals? Because all, all vassals, some of them really hate me. And the desiring kingdoms I'm not going to be able to deal with. I could reduce the number with you know, negative opinions of me. But I'm not going to get rid of them all. I'll be happy when I can form the Sodding Empire. Or if I can form the Sodding Empire. You march up north to deal with them. You... You have a rebellion, I think you are. So yeah, split up guys, go deal with them rebellions. Take 
ticking down by 14. Tell me how much my retinue is actually costing me. Levy upkeep is nothing. Retinue is 3.6. Mercenaries is 300. I really need to half the amount of mercs that I have. Okay, which one of the mercenary bands is here? The Mitterici Company. Which you have how many troops? None. <laughs> That's not true. The other one that's currently costing me 14. Why is this money fluctuating so much? Actually, though, let's reorganize. And separate you out. Reorganize. He's not in battle. There we go. At 900 men. And the rest of you are retinue. And the retinue can sit near that guy's capital. 900 men's not enough to go deal with that rebellion, actually. But I think in this one's case, it should be the opposite. It should be mainly... mainly the mercs. Oh, no, wait. Ratchet... Yeah, sorry. I've been doing this wrong. I was looking for just the ones with the banners, but... Let's reorganise again. You're part of a company, you're part of a company. Okay. You are enough to go deal with these rebels. Go take them on, please. And here. You're just the... You were just the mercs. And you should be fine dealing with them. You go sit there. Actually, you 500 guys of my retinue help this guy out because he's quite closely you know, matched by them. But I'm happy stripping out. It's not true. He's just greedy. I'm more than happy stripping out my mercs and having them fight and take losses. Because then I'll have to pay them less. So he, he's taking a terrain bonus. Okay, that went bad. <laughs> uh, I might send you guys... You're close... Uh, less closely matched, though, so you should be okay. I sent extra help with the other guy. He's running away, so you're definitely... Okay. Province is converted to the Buddhist faith. Good. Does that mean I can move you? Oh, brilliant. Look at this Buddhism finally spreading down here. And let's keep working on my primary place. The job where, where it's my personal job to convert. Really wish there was a sort button. Uh, let's see, search my realm. For ruler, yes. My religion, no. Sort by opinion. Demand religious conversion. Why can't I demand your religious conversion? Because you're not actually under me. Yeah. 
you'd say no. 20 bucks make you say otherwise, yes. You are under a grand mayor, I can't convert you. And you despise me. Not under me, but hopefully my kinsman should try to convert you. Not under me, not under me, not under... Uh, under me. Already talking to you about it, it, it would appear. Okay, you... No. Send you a gift. It's a lot of money. You better say yes, good. Trying to convert a few more of them to the correct faith, slightly get them converting. It's only the ones who are directly under me that I can ask it of. Send a gift. Should be good enough demand. Yes. But we are getting to a point where yeah, they don't like me enough to really do this now. But hopefully they'll convert the people under them. And then they'll convert their provinces. It's all going to be good. Zero, yeah, I'm not going to be able to bribe any of these guys to like me more. But hopefully, it's going to be a start. Let her rot. Of course, you'll convert to the Buddhist faith. Merge you guys up and attack. Actually, stand still. Let's raise up some reinforcements because you are mainly archers. And some backup for the archers is probably a good idea. Of course you'll convert. Of course you'll convert. Let's wait maybe a month for the... Okay, that's close enough. I'll dive in on him. He has nowhere to retreat unless he leaves the country. Chase them down. Another sodding revolt. Where's this one? 3,000 strong and in the north, so I'll actually let my retinue help. No, don't. Like, cross the Ganges first and then go to attack. I don't think, you know, trying to fight through the Ganges will be a good idea. Despite it being a sacred river, it's also a very dirty river. They've came into my territory, but I don't think they're actually my revolt. Um, I think we can stand down. You guys. It looks like I can raise up a few more. Retinues, another two. I'm happy there. Right, you march up there to meet them, you'll probably take a little bit longer, but it's fine. More retinue means more fun. For me, anywho. Karma's slowly going back up as we're crushing these people. Take the monthly, monthly karma because it's going to help us out even more. Okay, how are we looking in our prisons? Actually, yeah, banishing, it doesn't tell me I'm going to lose karma for it. It's like a whole year's worth of karma for banishing these people, but screw it, that's what they deserve. You revolted against my realm, you don't deserve to live in the sodding realm. Try and make this blob that we have stable. Tail can be used at a Raj. You won't come peacefully. If I was to usurp it. Just cost me gold. It's fine then. Now you... You still say no. The 
Claire Ward, De Jurit. Um, you don't like me. You don't like me. Let's have a look at its De Jure boundary. You love me. Oh, but yeah, you might own this, but you have that Raj. Uh, how about you? Grant your landed title. Is that Raj I'm giving you, isn't it? Yeah. So hopefully you'll like me when I do this. Oh no, it's involved in an ongoing war because I pressed for the jure claim, yep. If I'd have done it the other way around, I could have pressed for the jure claim afterwards. I could have raised up his troops. You've got nowhere to go, mate. <laughs> oh. I love you to raise. Okay, maybe I have left you one escape route. It's not much. Run away, getting Craven. Stand and fight and take Brave. 2,000, I'll give him a little bit of time to get them. Ugh, who are you? Where are you coming from? Can I get away? 23rd of... Oh, you're arriving on St. George's Day. 27th. 23rd, we should escape then. You guys all meet up there, and I'll call in some reinforcements from the north to come down and help you. Um, that's not the normal timer noise. <laughs> Please, God, say that's recording. That was a little bit odd. What the hell? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that was a timer. Uh, yeah, stranger noises have happened, but not often. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.